The Jubilee last year was an awkward event for the returning Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Their security detail was filled with extremely powerful people of the British intelligence. But who was the lady in the green hat who was always seen spying around the couple? Watch the rest of the video to find out who made the surprising return from the old British intelligence. It was none other than Stella Remington, the former Director General of MI5. She was MI5's first female Director General and the first Director General whose identity was made public after being appointed. In 1993, at the introduction of a brochure detailing the operations of MI5, Remington made history as the agency's first Director General to stand openly for the cameras. Remington served in the Security Services Counter Espionage, Counter Subversion, and Counter Terrorism Divisions between 1969 and 1990. During the 1979 Department of Health and Social Security Computer Operators strike, Remington was appointed Assistant Director of the newly reconstituted Interdepartment Group of Subversion in Public Life, whose mission was to track down and contain subversives within the civil service. Using the alias Miss J, she testified in court in 1989 against Czech spy Vaclav Jelinek, also known as Erin Van Harlem. She was given a promotion to one of the two deputy director general positions in 1990, where she handled the transfer of MI5 to Thames House. She traveled to Moscow in December 1991 to establish the first cordial ties between the KGB and the British intelligence services, who had previously been rivals. She received word that she had been promoted to Director General upon her return from Russia. But why was this powerful woman near Meghan and Harry? Was it for their protection or was it for spying? Let us know what you feel in the comments. And what other protection did the Sussex couple get? Cast iron assurances were offered to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle that they will receive specialized police security while visiting the UK. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex came back to the UK with their children Archie and Lily. The family took part in the festivities for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, which marked the monarch's 70 years in power and Trooping the Color, an annual event to honor Queen Elizabeth's former birthday. The Sussexes had their own personal security detail when they flew in from California, but after landing, the Metropolitan Police of London took over their protection. The couple stayed at their former home, Windsor Estate. Stella Remington was seen as the head of security for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. So was it just Stella Remington who was sitting close to Harry and Meghan? While Stella Remington was seen staring at Meghan with an awkward face, she was accompanied by two other important figures of British intelligence. Besides Stella Remington, Major Johnny Thompson was also spotted. He was the Queen's most senior bodyguard and was probably given the job to watch the Sussex couple like a hawk. The former head of MI5, Lord Chamberlain, was also present in the row behind Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan's seating during the event was a noteworthy topic. In order to avoid Harry and Meghan from diverting attention from the celebration, the Queen is rumored to have given instructions over where the Sussexes should sit during the national service of Thanksgiving away from Prince Charles, Prince William, and Kate Middleton. The monarch's motivation for saying this, according to the royal biographer Tom Bauer, was her concern that Meghan would divert attention away from Philip, who was the day's main focus. The Jubilee seated restriction, according to Bauer, was motivated by the same worry. She didn't want to have Meghan diverting attention away from her husband and from the ceremony, and knew that if Meghan had come, that's what was going to happen, he said about the funeral of Prince Philip in April 2021. I think that then expressed itself again in the Jubilee, he continued. I mean, what was really a remarkable story I heard was that Meghan and Harry were late to get a St. Paul's Cathedral deliberately so that they could make their own grand entrance. He also says that Harry had a small altercation with the usher when he was asked to sit in his allotted seat when he wanted to sit near the aisle. Internal video from St. Paul's Cathedral on that day of the Thanksgiving ceremony does show royal family members moving from their seats to make room for Harry and Meghan to sit in the middle of the row, but it doesn't appear to show any significant interaction between the prince and the usher. Harry's cousins, Princess Beatrice and Eugenie, along with their husbands, were given seats near the end of the row closest to the aisle. Do you think the group of former British intelligence officers spying behind Harry and Meghan was necessary? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.